Sagittarius, welcome. Doing your heart spread read for December 2021. A year, and maybe a month, that will live in infamy. <laughs> um, I think it's be a good month, though. And it's not just because I'm a Sag, Sun, Jupiter, Mercury, and Mars. Um, just think it's going to be a lot better energy after the 4th. Come on, it's like, it's going to... Things start popping off, and I think for Saggies, it's going to be the case, you know. Uh, particularly if you're Sag rising, you're really going to be cooking. If you're lucky enough to be a Sag sun and a Sag rising, whew, can I buy a ticket? <laughs> yeah. So I already pre shuffle. We're looking at this uh, as um, who's on your heart, who's um, in, in your mind, who's on your mind, who's in your heart type of deal. And um, really focuses on that. So you don't even have to be with them. They don't have to be alive. It's going to pick up on who you're really thinking about as you watch this reading. But first, I want to look at where you're at. <clears throat> three of Swords. It's not the scary Three of Swords in the Clint Dark deck here that you normally will find. So, you know, my I've been wanting to use this reading. I've used it some personal reasons. I take my time. Um, but I want to see um, how this might bring a difference to this uh, reading. But still, it's the Three of Swords energy. Um, and it's just where you're at and mind and heart is at in and around relationships, how I look at that. And then we're going to look at how this person you're thinking of, where's their mind? And, and I'm trying to look at this as uh, isolating you a little bit from the relationship and just, just looking at it as kind of a baseline as to where you're at. And it, it would have had to have been in your near experience, past experience, because this is not about this person you're thinking of, that um, either you had to let go of someone or someone let go of you. And the only thing I could say with the Three of Swords coming in here, maybe this shows it better, actually, than your, your normal one, like a Rider weight or something. But because, you know, uh, it maybe emphasizes more the fact uh, the swords as long as a card that that they are swords and that heart brings the emotions into it because I think what's happening here it's not that you're Sagittarius in any way emotionally attached to anything or emotionally having unfinished business or emotionally carrying anything forward with you into the relationship which is what this kind of placement would sh uh, show I'm gonna look at it for your person in a second um, but you you have these thought patterns and things that you're carrying forward, just so you know. And so now you know if it's not if you don't really relate to that, then it's not your reading. Before you go, check out the Soul Family read. Um, that's a daily collective read, and on Fridays it's a weekend read. So it's a, it was a 25 minute read this uh, today. This uh, whoever resonates spirituality manifestation. And um, if, they, if you're oriented that way, it may help you even with the heart spread here. So um, that's where you're at in terms of love, relationships, Saggies. And your person, Queen of Cups. Wow. So I think we can say, I like to think on this side that it could be a zodiac energy. So you're mostly going to think Cancer. Could be any water sign. Um, being that this is a queen... Um, I don't really see your station, say, by the Three of Swords. So, just to say this person would be mature. Even if young, they would somehow be substantial. Um, they would be very loving um, and very understanding. And it's like when you communicate with this person, um, you would feel understood. You know, And of all the queens, he's known to be the softest queen. Um, now that doesn't mean she's soft, <laughs> they're still a queen, you know, but she might be the one, like the other queens, you know, they're going to keep you at arm's length. This queen, it, she might choose to just take you right into her heart, even though you're just some knave <laughs> uh, there before her, you know. So if there's any sense of that, there could be a little sense of you... <sighs> Seeing them in a in a bright like with a halo, a little, uh, really feeling like coming because you're in this energy, three of swords in your mind. So it's it's also can be kind of looking for the worst, you know, worrying, worrying that the worst could come. A busy mind, uh, uh, 
and not this person. It, it would come very grounded naturally. Um, and so interesting as you meet that energy, if they were to find you attractive, um, that could really ground you. You know, you got fire and you got water. Uh, it can work. I mean, there's so much more that matters. Now, this is the chariot again in the Klempt Art deck, but pretty well depicts it. Um, this is how you're feeling about your person, Sanj. I told you with the with the Queen of Cups, you know, um, this person, I, I should say, it, it would give one the sense that if this person let you in their heart, that you should be lucky, feel like maybe go, whoa, you know, and not many people get the attention from the Queen, you know, Cups, because she's still Queen, she ain't got all day, she's got her own business of taking care of the kingdom to do. Um, so the way you're feeling about her is like you're all in. You're really excited. You want this in some fashion, uh, Sag. You would be moving to this person. Always I want to say with the chariot, though, this movement could be philosophical, spiritual, religious, you know, um, in nature. And it, so it could also, whether you move or not, a sense that this person makes you feel like going towards them aligns you with your purpose and your life's purpose and your soul's intentions here seen in your natal chart which is a star map of our soul's purpose i think is an astrology way i would describe it so it's pretty profound i mean they've, they've really caught you uh sad i mean they really caught you um you know probably with you being in the three of swords energy and all in your head and worried about all the possible bad things that could happen, have happened. Um, maybe you're thinking very most likely will, to matter when happen. Um, and then you meet this person, and they give you such a feeling inside that they're solid, solid. Um, that you just this go, you know, you're this is worlds away. The the chariot, the three of swords is so distant to someone in a chariot. You know, you're you're not going to. Um, uh, see, um, you're not even going to remember that energy. And you got to also point out, too, I forgot, <laughs> uh, that is a cancer card. <laughs> so uh, how are you feeling about this person? Like you're all about them. The only thing I could say is like, wow, you're really, I'm a Sag, you know, I get it. It's like probably already people have told you it doesn't do any good. You're riding a chariot, you just... We got time to wave, man, and ain't nobody can redirect you at that point. <laughs> oh, now the way they're feeling about you is the Seven of Cups. Emotionally, it could be a little bit of a turmoil for them. Um, remember, they're Queen of Cups here, and I think this is you. You really get to them too. Um, and they don't really understand a lot. Like they probably are used to kind of understanding their own emotions, being this Queen of Cups. One thing the Queen of Cups, like the King of Cups, is going to be a master of their emotions. I never heard their emotions, but you say she because it's a queen, right? But now, in regards to you, um, you really shook them up, and now they're not really so sure what they're feeling. I got to clarify this, guys. First clarification. Seven of Pentacles, this is pretty clear. They don't know what to feel and, and they don't know what to do. They're trying to make a decision. They're looking at you, Sagittarius, every which way, right? Down to the depths and the emotions and practically, you know, how do our schedules match? Do they want, do you want children? Do you not? Do you want to live in a house, the country, the city, the apartment, the single family uh did, um did you get vaxxed or not <laughs> i don't know man that's really uh drilling down into it man and it kind of implies with the seven of cups though um now the seven of pentacles is quite practical so they might be going through some process where this is the here's what i'm getting now this queen of cups is not used to having to question her own th feelings okay now she is and by that's what the seven of pentacles is about 
Um, and so it's an uncomfortable position for her to be in. And right now she doesn't know what to feel. Mm -hmm. But you sure are rocking uh, her boat here. Okay, her is uh, uh, metaphorical. So male, male, man or woman. <laughs> but, you know, you know, you got to understand like a, a queen. I used to work in this business, you know, and some of our, our customers would call me. They're, they're working, they're working jobs with millions of dollars at stake every day. And, you know, they don't have time to uh, play. And uh, sometimes if you just were to question them, you know, we don't, we couldn't, we had people talking to them that we were being paid like $8 an hour and kind of sometimes didn't give a shit. And, you know, just, they can be so sensitive um, to someone uh, to you know rock in their boat and as a queen here you'd look at someone she's used to getting what she wants and really probably who she wants you know and she the queen doesn't go around asking like I don't know why am I feeling this way but that's what she's asking I don't know what has attracted me to this Sag and it's kind of like she doesn't know and so now she's counting you know She's counting, you know, taking the count. So let uh, be forewarned, but you're gone, Saggy. <laughs> you're gone, you know. It's like you're saying, whether you're not, here I come. And here, well, I was going to say, be careful. But on the other hand, here's the Knight of Wands. What a beautiful Knight of Wands. It's clipped art deck. And I, I was about to say, uh-oh, maybe you want to, uh, you know, change your uh, air, airline ticket there, Sag. But uh, no, I mean, because this is advice from spirit about how to deal best with this person. And that's a Sag card right there, if anything is, you know. That's Mars, that's Knight of Wands, that's going for it, action, that's sex. I mean, um, it's like, pour it on. It's And I love this because this is advice from the universe. This is advice from the universe. Now we'll look at their advice. And then here's a, really the core of the whole reading is the advice from spirit for the two of you as a whole. Let's see what their advice is. I don't wanna go from the bottom of the deck, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, Ace of Wands. Jesus, guys. The universe, advice for your person and how to deal with you is the Ace of Wands, okay? This is a perfect match. You guys are, if you haven't had sex yet, do leave comments. I'm not trying to be puerile. It's like, I just think this is so hot and I want to know if it's real. And guys, if you're cross watching, guys, share this with your person. If you're here ticking off the boxes and trying to figure it the fuck out, it's go time. This is advice from spirit. What is that? Ace of Wands. It's lighted up. It's a balance. <laughs> you know, um, here. And a very beautiful Ace of Wands, too. Uh, look at it along with the, this is the advice of spirit for the both of you towards the other now This is one of those times if you know nothing about tarot get your seven-year-old honey What do you think? Well, actually, maybe not she's nudity <laughs> forget, but you know just look at that. Come on. That's hot, man That's that's got to be good <laughs> um, And you're all in you're feeling probably sad it's like oh my god. This is my soulmate um, and they, they maybe need a nudge uh, from spirit. I'm gonna say something, you know, don't, I don't know, this is my feeling, I hear things, okay? Um, they're not gonna know until you have sex. I, if you haven't had sex yet, that might be what this is. Um, and you guys are coming together like uh, two planets that are gonna collide in space here in a minute. <laughs> With this uh, Knight of Wands and the Ace of Wands and being the advice. Now this becomes very important. The Tower, wow. Two giant planets colliding in space. Kapow. Advice from Spirit. Now the advice from Spirit is not gonna be what well, could be to bring a tower down? There's something between you. I'm going to clarify this. Take a look at this tower, too. It's beautiful and different. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking because I, I, I like to adjust my interpretations according to the deck. This deck is so evocative here. And this is so powerful coming. I see here 
Romeo and Juliet. Romeo and Juliet. There's something keeping you apart. And this is something outside of the self. This could be a culture, a ocean, a family, like, like in Romeo and Juliet. Um, you know, um, something that you don't exactly have control of. Something that you can't exactly wrap, wrap your knuckles on, you know. Um, I keep seeing the... I keep wanting to go to this bottom of the deck, which I do recognize now in this read officially, uh, which I didn't before, and we do have the Two of Cups here, all right? I, I was going to tell you from the beginning, I mean, it's highly auspicious. Um, you know, both of you are interested in each other, okay? I think, Sad, you might be showing it more. Mm -hmm. Even here, you're the Knight of Wands, and they're the Ace of Wands. Honestly, Sad, if you're the male and they're the female, it could be a little better or, you know, if you carry the masculine energy and they carry the feminine um, energy, it would be kind of perfect here. Um, but let's see. Give me some insight into this. Knight of Swords. Hmm. There's something between you, but it could come down with a word. That's what it is. And it's also something needs to be cut out. Something's between you that has to be cut out. That's what I'm getting out of this. Like the tower has to come down. Sometimes, um, in most, the, this is pointing towards you, Sag, and you do come in with the Three of Swords. So I'm kind of thinking it's one or the other of you. Whoever puts you into this Three of Swords energy needs to be cut out of your life. It's going to require a tower moment. It's going to create a tower moment. That's simple as that. What is that? Let's put it into basic words. I quit. Kaboom. Job is gone. I'm done. I want a divorce. Kaboom. The marriage is done. So. And I think you're going to do it because you've got the chariot over the knight of wands. And that's like a whole lot of desire. If you're cross-watching, the Sag wants you so badly that their teeth ache okay that's a whole you're and i was uh, you're not going to resist that so this tower is coming down but you're going to have to slay this you know i think it's in your hands in order for you to be the knight of wands which is what you want to be sag and go across the dark waters to the golden future you have to go back and slay this past thing put you here in the first place in this three of swords energy Sag and the outcome <laughs> you think it'll be worth it Sag time for you to be the knight this means action wands you've got these I'm putting this advice for the relationship on you Sag knight of swords it's right next to your knight of wands just like I said you're gonna go back and you're gonna slay that dragon and then you're gonna ride forward into the sunset and you're going to impregnate this lady. And you're going to have a family. And this is the world. And it's going to be great. And you're going to live happily ever after. The world is the outcome. And what a beautiful world card is that. I think this just became my favorite deck. Thank you, Sag. Um, if you could think of anywhere to share this. If it resonates with you. Please do try to help me out. Do subscribe at the bell. As I said, Fridays are always Sag and Cap days here. And do check out the Soul Family Read. I'll try to put a link, too, in the description of this reading. Thank you, guys.